everyone, today I am going to show you a tool that is seriously a game changer for mixing your resin. If you have sore hands or you just get tired of mixing resin, this is exactly what you need. So stay tuned. y'all if you have never seen one of these this is an electronic actually it doesn't normally come with the connects <laughs> uh, this is an electronic screwdriver not a drill but it is electronic and that means a lot less effort but without having to hold a heavy drill while you're using some type of paddle mixer now I got this paddle mixer from Etsy and then I wanted to give this a try and see how this works. So I'm actually gonna try this today, but I can already tell you that I highly recommend this paddle mixer. Obviously I have not cleaned it very well after my projects, but it still works just the same. And this is just the red bar and the red connects that I got from my son's bucket. And I'm gonna give that a try in here because I think that it will get the edges very well um, and the bottom we're gonna give it a try see obviously the paddle mixer is the better way to go but if you're like me and you want to be thrifty and also save money because this was something that my son never uses but is in his room um, then you can use something like that and we're gonna see whether or not that works but I wanted to show you how awesome this thing was I got this from Amazon I did add it into my Amazon link below. So if you guys are interested in this, I will have it in my epoxy tools section. I have an extra mixing stick just in case this is not working very well. I'm in mixing gloves and I'm gonna be working with the faux result. I'm gonna start off by measuring out. I'm gonna use about 10 ounces. And the reason I'm doing this is because I am gonna be utilizing the Resi Blast and that does force a lot of that resin to repel away from it. So you wanna make sure that you have enough resin to cover that action. So I also did try out one of these. I was hoping that it would spin fast enough, but the resin is just too thick. So for super thin liquids, this works out great. Definitely gonna have to go back into my kitchen for coffees. But this, on the other hand, has a stronger motor, so it forces it to mix a lot better. So first you just wanna get most of it mixed together. And this Connex is actually doing a pretty good job. Now it's not doing a good job at scraping, so you will have to do some hand mixing. But for those of you who have paint in your hands like I do, this is going to be such an essential tool for your toolbox. I'm gonna go ahead and put some isopropyl in a little mixing cup because I want to also show you how well the other paddle mixer works. What I kind of like about the Connects though is, watch this. And you can just soak that in the isopropyl. And then you can just take a paper towel. And wipe and you don't have a paddle in the way. So that's pretty nice. This will be easy to clean with alcohol too. I actually think the resin would pop off of this since it is a hard plastic. But 
with this petal, I did have to shave down some of this. If you see how rough that bottom looks compared to how nice this was printed. So that way it would fit in here because it is not a standard size, but it fits and then you go. This definitely obviously works way better than a Kinex, but if you're trying to save on some money, this is one option that you have. And this can scrape the sides without having issues. And for those who are not ambidextrous, when it comes to your mixing, it's obviously not difficult to hold something and push down a button with your opposite non-dominant hand. This also reduces the amount of bubbles drastically. Okay, so you can keep going with the paddle mixer. Now, you still have to scrape the sides anyways, even with a paddle mixer. So I'm gonna scrape those sides. See how it's starting to get cloudy again? That shows that your resin is definitely not properly fully mixed because there's no way that those tools can perfectly scrape the sides. Not like a flat edged popsicle stick or paint mixing stick, things like that. And that's it. Let me know what you think of this particular tool in the comments below. Have you used something like this before? I am very curious. Also, I'll be sure to put down both links for the Amazon to where you can go directly to my Amazon and purchase that for yourself, but also the shop that I got the small paddle mixers for the electronic screwdriver. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.